In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify given radical expression. Before we proceed, I'm going to remind you of two relationships. First one will be a plus square equals a square plus 2a times b plus b square. Another relationship will be a plus b times a minus b should be equal to a square minus b square. Please keep that in mind. Now, in order to find out the number that is given, we are going to treat this whole expression as x. What I'm going to do, in order to simplify this, I'm going to square them, meaning that this whole expression can be square. Now, we are going to treat the first expression as a, second term as b. So when you square them, what's going to happen will be, first term will be 7 plus square root of 13. Now we are going to have 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 13 times 7 minus square root of 13. Lastly, what we have is b square. This can be 7 minus square root of 13. What we can do, we have positive square root of 13, negative square root of 13. So these two terms will be cancels out. So we have 7 plus 7, which is 14. Now we have plus 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 13 times 7 minus square root of 13. We are going to use this relationship. So we have square root of 7 times 7, which is 7 square minus square root of 13 square. So this expression can be 14 plus 2 times square root of 49 minus 13, which is 49 minus 13. This can be 14 plus 2 times square root of 36. Square root of 36 will be 6. Now this expression becomes 14 plus 2 times 6, which is 14 plus 12. Then this should be equivalent to 28. We are looking for x. So basically, x square will be 28. x can be both positive, negative, square root 28. However, when you look at the given expression, so x can be positive number, we can have only positive square root of 28. Square root of 28 can be further simplified as 2 square root of 7. So the given expression can be equivalent to 2 square root of 7.